Today I will share with you why do we use Excel table, what is the advantages of using Excel table, and what is the difference between the normal table and Excel table. Normally when we talk about table, we are referring to something like this one, you have your data arranged in row and column with the header. For a normal table like this one, you can still do the sorting and filtering by adding a filter. And all the row uh, at the below will be included also. So for example, now I have added a row and when I do the sorting, so this one will be included. Okay. And when I have additional row, it still will be included. But when I have additional column, it will not include it as part of the table. You can see here the September, uh, the filter is not uh, appear. So now we just change this with an Excel table. So we first copy the data and make it to an uh, Excel table. There are three ways you can make the table into an Excel table. First is under the home, you click on this uh, format as table. Or under the tab insert, you can click the table. Or you click Ctrl T. Okay. Then this window will pop up. We're asking you uh, where is your data. Uh, we have reselected so we can ignore it and then the second one is this uh, whether your table has a header now my table has a header so I will make sure you check and click OK so now I have my data my excel table ready if I added uh, some data here it will be included as part of the table it's not necessary I must uh, include the data at the first column so if I have a data here it will still include as part of the table and similarly for the column, if I have a continuous column, it will be included as part of the table. But if I have one uh, empty column in between, so for example, I have a November here. This is not part of the table. But if I want to include it, um, what can I do is um, to drag this uh, little symbol. So this indicates the border of your table. Okay, so now I have included this one. So if I do want this column, I can select the whole column and right click to delete the table column. Similarly, if I do want this row, I can also select and then delete the row. Okay. Now let's see what is the advantage of using Excel table. If you click on the table, then under the last tab for this uh, table 2, you will see this design. And you can see this uh, total row. When you click on this total row, it will add additional row below your table. So normally, by default, they will show the um, sum of the data for your table. You can change it to average or anything you want. Uh, depends on the drop down list, whatever you selected from it. So for example, I want a minimum from this one. So this will select the minimum of the data from this uh, column. Okay, so if I add additional row, for example, I add 11 here, then from here I want the maximum. So the maximum is 11, means that whatever you included will be um, will be taken into account. So for example, I have a, maybe a 12 here, so this will be uh, changed automatically as long as uh, your data has uh, some changes. So if I have a 12 here, it will be updated because uh, I selected the minimum. You can see here we have more function. So here you can select uh, other function and to do the calculation. So for example, I want some if. So if, uh, for example, for me, if it is more than uh, 700, I want to sum the value. Okay. Then I click OK. So all the value with more than 700 will be summed up. Okay. So this is advantages of using the Excel table. But if you are using a normal table, you will need to enter the formula by yourself. Okay, so you can see here we have uh, other uh, for formatting. So for example, this is a header row. So this, uh, when you uncheck, it will remove your header row. And then the bended row is uh, the coloring of the row. It's an alternate row. And the first column, you will bold. And this will bold the last column. And the banded column, you can see here, is the coloring of the column. And this filter button is, uh, now you can do the filtering. If I want to do the sorting of a minimum by January, I can do the sorting. Okay. So if you uncheck this one, you cannot 
or do the filtering but you still can check it and do the filtering later okay now you want to calculate the average of your eight month data you need to do some calculation you need to manually key in the formula okay so we calculate the average now you have the average um okay so this one we have a last column last column is to um bow your last column data this is not like the total row we do not have a total column so if you have another column of our data you want to insert then you have a september but you need to remember your september is not calculated into your uh, average you need to change this uh, header number so this is september okay then if you have another column similarly you still have to adjust your uh, formula okay so this is basically the header of your table Okay, if you want to have a better view how your data change month over month, you can insert something called spark line. So under here, you can see this uh, spark line. And then you need to select your data range. So for example, I select from January until October and click OK. So you can see they have a spark line here. So this basically will show um, my data actually is uh, increasing, then uh, decreasing, and uh, man uh, then it's a range of maintaining around this range so for example i just put a very big data here then you can see a spike if i put a 10 here then you can see it's going downwards okay and this one you can do for your normal table also so similarly you click on insert then you select your uh, spot line okay then you select your data range okay so you have this same thing for this one, uh, you can change the column or win loss. Okay. And then if you have a negative value, so for example here, you can change this color. You go to the marker color and then negative point, you select uh, whatever color you want. So for example, I select the red color. So you can see one red dot here. This is showing the negative value of June. Okay, so similarly for this one, you can change also. Um, you want a column, and then you change your color. If you got a negative value, you want it to orange. So for example, I just put a negative value here. Okay, you can see it's a change color already. Okay, so this is the usefulness of this uh, spark line you can use with your table to have a better view how your data change. If you are looking for something more handy to calculate your data or to manage and analyze your data, you can use something called pivot table, which we will cover in future video. Now let's go one step back and see what happened if you didn't check this my table has header, but in actual your table does have the header. Okay. So the Excel will add additional row as the header and your original header will become part of the data. So to overcome this, you can just uh, undo and then uh, convert into an Excel again. But if you receive this from someone else, so what you can do is uh, you convert this to range. So it will remove the table and all the data will be back to the normal range. And from here, you can select again and format this to an Excel table. And for this row, you can uh, just uh, delete it. Okay. And now here you can see sometimes um, after you uh, change it back to range and your de table design will be uh, slightly different. So for example, like this one, when you select this style, it's supposed to be uh, orange and white. But now you still have a blue color. It's because uh, the previous table format is still there. So what you can do is uh, just click clear format. So it will change all back to um very plain design and now you can select again so you can see now uh, all the different will be uh, updated as per 